Agrina Ushla, it's Misha Kateni Vahuna, and along with Avani Gonal, we want to welcome you to our transition year production. It seems fitting to record our opening in this way, in what has certainly been the year of the device. Every year, since 1987, Kloshta and Gwe Kloshta here in Baden College, produce a transition year musical. Over 200 students are auditioned and interviewed, depending on their interests, and six different crews are populated after these auditions and interviews. Cast, set design and art, stage management, hair, makeup and costuming, the mini company and construction. Our predecessors have wowed the melancholic public with high quality performances of Les Mis, Hairspray, Miss Saigon, The Fiddler on the Roof, The Adams Family, Me and My Girl, The Pirate Queen and many, many more. The Transition Year production is an opportunity to obtain and improve skills in theatre production, teamwork and problem solving as well as providing a window through which the wider community can get a glimpse of what we do best here in Kloshta and Gwea Kloshta Cullum. This school has always given two oyster to the arts and placed a great emphasis in learning through involvement and activity. We are so incredibly lucky to have a team of teachers who give so much of their free time and a management team who actively support us all. A huge shout out to the teachers. This amazing bunch are supported and cheered on by Manny, but most especially by Ms. Coit Bernock, the deputy principal with responsibility for the senior school. This year, we are all set to get to work on the Little Shop of Horrors. As the most talented group ever to grace the halls of Kloshta and Gwe Kloshta Cullum, we knew that we would be the show that would be most referenced, most talked about. However, that was not to be. Back in September, Miss Hutchinson promised us that we would do what we can, as best we can, for as long as we can. The crews were populated and we all started to work, but with COVID case rising and lockdown introduced, we had to pause. A new year brought new challenges and online rehearsals during lockdown were really difficult. We weren't even certain that we could perform our show at any time. And then this idea was born. Our teachers are nothing if not resourceful. What you're about to watch is the combination of film scenes and recorded audio all tied together by narration. Please note that the full soundtrack consists of the voices of our cast. We also decided to feature our wonderful school and the great village that is Balancholic. We could have not have done any of this without the amazing support of so many people and businesses. We call our version Little Year of Horrors and we even have our own hashtag, hashtag no show. It is, in our humble opinion, a creative and entertaining way for the pandemic year in which we have found ourselves. And that although we are not gracing the stage with our tiered seating pulled down, lights on, audience full of trepidation for four nights of high quality entertainment, we are taking our rightful place among all the wonderful groups of TYs who've come before us for the past 34 years. Both Kate and I have watched our siblings tread the boards in our culture limb. And now they will watch us on film, online, the newly discussed new normal. Bunique soup is sauceive of our no show. We hope that you enjoy. On the 21st day of the month of September, in an early year of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence. And this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do, in the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places.
Sorry, Luke. I thought you were good. No one cares what you think, Senan. I know. Okay, where were we? I think we were talking about that Mushne guy. No, you're going too far ahead. So there's this guy named Seymour. He was simpy, sappy, a total loser. Hey! Don't call Seymour a loser. He was an orphan. A wimpy orphan. But Mr. Mushnik treated him like a slave. He get, got to sleep under the counter and everything. I know, but he didn't treat him half as bad as that greasy boyfriend of Audrey's. Or in the dentist guy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He was a total mess. But back to the story. Seymour Mushnick's flower shop is going downhill in more ways than one. Sorry, Grace, can you please remember to say Seymour Crowborn so that everyone understands that later on? Okay? You okay. never told us to say that. Miss. You literally never okay, told us. Okay, Ivahuna, you will go to class. Anyways. Where were we again? Oh, yeah. We're here talking about like where the flower shop is, right? Isn't it on the 5th street of the avenue of... No, no, no. Now I remember. It was on Skid Row. Downtown. Luke, you are so dreamy. That shot looks really good, Kate. Send in. Go away. I was supposed to follow you everywhere. Sorry. Look, God, what an existence I got. Misfit employees, bums on the sidewalk, business is lousy. My life is a living hell. You, urchins, off the stoop. It ain't bad enough I got the winos to permanently decorate the storefront. I need two worthless ragamuffins to complete the picture. Are we bothering nobody? Are we, Crispum? No, we're not, Renette. You ought to be in school. We're on the split shift. We went to school to the fifth grade. Then we split. So how do you intend to better yourselves? Better ourselves? Mister, when you from Skid Row, ain't no such thing. Alarm goes off at seven And you start up town You put in your eight hours For the powers that have always Till it's five p.m. Then you go downtown where the folks are broke. You go downtown where your life's a joke. You go downtown where you buy your soak and you go home to Skid Row. Home to Skid Row. Yes, you go downtown.
took me in, gave me shelter A bed, crust of bread and a job Treats me like dirt, called me a slob Which I am So I live That's your home address, you live When your life's a mess, you live Depressions, just that is quo. Down on skin road. So show me a way to get out of here. Cause I constantly pray I'll get out of here. Please won't somebody say I'll get out of here. Someone give me my shot or I'll rot here. Show me how and I will. I'll get out of here. I'll start climbing uphill and get out of here. Someone tell me I still can't get out of here. Someone tell Lady Luck that I'm stuck here. She if she would be swell to get out of here. Bid the gutter farewell and get out of here. I'm of heaven and hell to get out of here. I do, I don't know what to get out of here. That's our Achilles! Yeah. And thus we conclude our interview with Seymour Krellborn, the young botanical. Do you mind if I call you a genius? Gosh, no. The genius who's developed a new breed of plant life, hitherto unknown in this planet. The Audrey too. And just one last question, Mr. Crowborn. Do you feed it anything special? Special? Uh, no, it's a secret formula, but it's uh, not hard to come by. I see. Well, uh, thanks for dropping well, by. And... I'd, I'd just like to remind our listeners um, that the Audrey too is on display exclusively at the Mush Mushnick Skid Row Florist. Thanks. This is Open six days WSKID. a week, 10 to 6. The address, the address, mention the... Oh, well... Still great advertising. I can't believe it, it couldn't be happening. Pinch me, girls, it couldn't be happening. All of this sudden success coming out of the blue. I put a sign up right in the front window, an advertisement right in the front window. Stop in and see the amazing new plant, Audrey, too. Remarkable things that people they do. 
see more that twerp of a klutz Finally did something right, all drew two tries to nuts What a blessing, this wonderful plan should exist And should rake in the bucks for me, hand over what? fist Well, how'd I do? You was great, Seymour! You sounded sexier than the Wolfman! But you didn't mention the address of the shop! How many times have I told you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was nervous. Hey, where's Audrey? She said she'd be here. Forget about Audrey. I've got three more radio interviews lined up for tomorrow, and the Skid Row Herald Examiner wants a picture. Oh, if I had a mother, she'd be so happy. You're an overnight sensation, Seymour! Who'd have believed it? One day... Pushed a broom, knocked in in his new spot, gloom and doom. Then he lit a fuse and give him room. Stand aside and watch that mother blow. Explosion, bang, boom. Don't it go to show you never know? Seymour was in a funk. He was number zero, who'd have thunk? He'd become a hero, just a funk. He was a forgotten so and so. used to screw him. Just cut my hand and Do in a snap what? Something out of Edgar Allan Poe Has happened Damn Kazap Don't it go to show you never know One day you're slinging hash Feeling so rejected Lightning flash You get resurrected Make a splash Now you're the big prophecy Suddenly successful guy like Seymour. Mm-mm-mm. This child suffers from low self-image. You have a point. She have a problem. I know Seymour is the greatest. But I'm dating a semi-sadist. So I got a black eye and my arms in a sling. 
still that Seymour's cutie. Well, if not, he's got enough beauty. And I dream of a place where we could be together at last. What kind of place is that, honey? An emergency room? Oh, no. It's just a daydream of mine. A little development I dream of, just off the interstate. Not fancy, like Levytown. Just a little street and a little suburb. Far, far from urban Skidrow. Oh, I dream about it all the time. Just me and the toaster and a sweet little guy. Like Seymour. A matchbox of our own. A fence of a real chain link. A grill out on the patio. Disposal in the sink. A washer and a dryer. And an ironing machine. And a tracked house that we share. Somewhere that's green. best. Our kids watch howdy duty as the sun sets in the west. A picture out of better homes and gardens magazine. Far from Skid Row. I got it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm like sure. Are not supposed to get that pen? No. I, I, I got everything. To, this, no, to follow us around the school. You told me to video everything. That's the wrong angle. So Did you get me from my I, good side? Yeah, I got you from your good side. Sure? It's fine. Yes. We're close to renovation for spiffing up and grooming because customers are flocking and business has been booming. We need refrigeration in our new improved display, so we're close to renovation today. Yes indeed, this is the shop you heard about on Channel 5 News. Yes, the Audrey 2 is on display exclusively here. We're close for decoration, cause fortune has been smiling. So now we're due for painting, new plumbing and retiling. We'll make a ship shape show place of our little shop and then tomorrow we'll be open again. Aren't you finished yet? I'm trying my hardest, but all these band-aids are making it kinda hard. You've been getting hurt so much lately. I know, it seems like every time I pick up a pruning shears, I slip. 
Let's go to renovation for swapping down and rooming Cause business has been thriving since Audrey 2's been blooming The phone time not stop ringing with the customers who say Another bunch of peonies Another dozen daisies please Geraniums and anemones Like get me knots and floor delis We try to some deliveries All paid in full and CODs We're close to renovation About it. I don't like that guy, Mr. Mushnick, and you should hear the way he talks to Audrey. Got in him will know the kid just said he'd mull it over. No wonder she looks so unhealthy. It's enough to make you sick. If he left me, if Seymour left me, why then I'd be right back where I started, which was broken starving. Sweet and good and beautiful as she is, she deserves a prince, not a sadistic creep like him. Close to bankrupt. What a louse. Beset, befuddled, and bereft. That's what I'd be if Seymour left. He's a disgrace to the dental profession. Seymour! Sir? Seymour. How would you like to be my son? How would you like to be my own adopted boy? I never liked him much before, but count the cash that's in the drawer. I've got no choice, how much you poor say yes. What for? Seymour, I want to be your dad. I want to see you climbing up my family tree I used to think you left a stand, but now I see that you're a man So I'm proposing be my son Mushnik and son Sounds great Three words with the ring of fate So say you'll incorporate with me A florist's dream come true Mushnik and his boy chick you what business will do for FTT? How about it, Seymour, be my son? To say the word, I'll have my lawyer on the phone. Now, Mr. Moshnik, don't be rash. You always said that I was trash. Oh, I was joking. Sir, I'm joking. Excuse the physical expression of my pride of the sweet paternal Mishnikus I've held pent up inside. Yeah, 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 Gee. So? Well. Well? I. You? Go ahead and say it, Seymour. Tell me that you will. Gee, I'd really like to, but. I'll hold my breath until. Okay, you win, I'll be your son. Hooray, I win, he'll be my son. Drop the papers that I'm touched, I really am. And someday when you're 83, I'll let you come move in with me. You swear? I promise. What a son! Mushnik and son. That's that. Officially, I'm your brat. Consider the matter closed and done. Now to the world, let's stick. A senior and junior shtick Through thin and through thick Hey! Through sloppy and slick So come kiss me quick Please don't make me sick Mushnik and son Hey! Free I beg your pardon? Free green. Tilly, you talk. You opened your trap, and you said, Feed me, Crowborn! Feed me now! I, I can't. I'm starving! Oh boy, maybe I can squeeze a little bit out of this one, but... I need some food! I know, I know, but I, you can't get blood from a... More! More! I don't got any more. What do you want me to do, slit my wrists? <sighs> Look, how about I walk down to the corner and get you some nice chopped sirloin? Must be blood. Tui, that's disgusting. Must be fresh. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Free me. Does it have to be human? Free me. Does it have to be mine? Free me. Where am I supposed to get it? Free me.
me see more Be me all night long That's right, boy You can do it Feed me see more Feed me all night long <laughs> Cause if you feed me see more I can grow up big and strong You eat blood, aren't you two? Let's face it how am I supposed to keep on feeding you? Kill people? I'll make it worth your while. What? You think this is all coincidence, baby? The sudden success around here? Your adoption papers? Look, you're a plant, an inanimate object. Does this look inanimate to you, punk? If I can talk and I can move, who's to say I can't do anything I want? Like what? Like deliver, pal. Like see you get everything your secret, greasy, hot desires. Would you like a Cadillac car? Or a guest shot on jackpot? How about a date with head in a mic? You're gonna get it? Well, thanks, dude. Kind of to offer, but. How do you like to be a big weep? Dining out for every meal. I'm the plan, you can make it all real. You're gonna get it? You're gonna get it! I'm your genie, I'm your friend. I'm your willing slave. Take a chance, just feed me, hey. You know the kind of east, the kind of red hot treats, the kind of sticky, leaky sweets I crave. Come on, Seymour, don't be a putz. Trust me, and your life will surely rival King Tut's. No, a little listen, it won't work up the gut, and you'll get it. I don't. Nothing to you but me. Come on, kid, what will it be? Money? Girl. One particular girl. How about that Audrey? Think it over. There must be someone you can 86, real quiet like. And get me some lunch. How's about a room of the Ritz? Wrapped in velvet, covered in kit. A little look, you're gonna clean up your seats and you'll get it. I'd like a Harley machine Now you're cook cruising around like I was yeah, 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 yeah. Making all the guys on the corner turn green Go get it Oh, If you wanna be profound And you really gotta justify Take a breath, then look around A lot of folks deserve to die Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute That's not a very nice thing to say But it's true isn't it? No, I don't know anyone who deserves to get chopped up and fed to a hungry plant. Mm, sure you do. Stupid woman, Christ, what a freaking scatterbrain. I'm sorry, Doctor, I'm sorry, Doctor. Now get the hell in there and get your goddamn sweater, you dizzy cow. Yes, Doctor, right away, Doctor. Hey, Seymour, I left my sweater here before. Come on, move it, little slut. God, how do you like that stupid dame? Forget her freaking sweater. If your stupid head weren't screwed on. Or oh, in that hurt. Move it. If you want a rationale, it isn't very hard to see. Stop and think it over, pal. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. He's so nasty, treating her up. He's backing around, always talking so tough. I need blood and he's got more than enough I need blood, he's got more than enough I need blood, he's got more than enough So go get it! Hold on, let me switch the camera Oh, your hair's looking a little long So, tell me about this dentist guy I'd rather see more than that guy because when he was younger, just a bad little kid, his mama noticed the weird things he did. Like shooting puppies with a BB gun? And poisoning guppies. And when he was done, he would find a cat and bash its head in. Why are you ramming, Crystal? So you're saying he has a talent for causing things pain? Yup. Things meaning Audrey? Mm-hmm. 
He gets up on the pain she inflicts. So in other words, he's a psychopath. Mm -hmm. Who does he think he is beating around Audrey like that? He makes her call a doctor. All these characters seem a little off to me. Next! I guess that's me, Dr. Scrimello. Do you have an appointment? Uh, we spoke yesterday. Seymour Crowborn? Oh, yeah. The guy with the plan. Right. <laughs> the bandits. Right. And the gun. Right. So why are you pointing a gun at me, Seymour? I... I... Are you a little scared of seeing the dentist? No. I'm not nervous. I just... It'll only hurt a little. No, you don't understand. I, I don't want my teeth examined. Of course you want your teeth examined. Say, ah. Uh, no. Say, ah. Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, your mouth is a mess. <laughs> your cavities. You got plaque. You're impacted. Your abscess. Oh, yeah? You need a complete oral examination. We'll start with that wisdom tooth. No! We'll just rip the little bugger out of there. What do you say? I, I gotta go. There's always time for dental hygiene, Seymour. Have you ever seen the results of a neglected mouth? Look, Seymour. This could happen to you. It could? Unless I take immediate action. Let's get started. Wait, aren't you gonna give me some Novocaine? What for? It tells the senses. But it'll hurt. Only till you pass out. What's that? That's the drill, Seymour. Uh, but it, it's rusty. It's an antique. They don't make instruments like this anymore. Sturdy. Heavy. Dull. This is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a pleasure. I'm going to want some gas for this one. Gas? Nitrous oxide. Oh, thank God. I thought you weren't going to give me anything. <laughs> oh, no, Seymour. The gas isn't for you. It's for me. Yeah, I really want to enjoy this. And I find that a little gig of gas before we begin increases my pleasure enormously. In fact, I think I'm going to use my special gas mask. Just relax, Seymour. I'll be with you in a moment. No, do it now. While he's gassing himself to a palpable stupor The timing's ideal and the moment is super Turn ready and fire and blow the sick bastard away <laughs> Now, do it now Just a flicker of pressure right here on the trigger And Audrey won't have to put up with that pig for another day Now, for the girl Now, for the plant Now, yes I will <laughs> But I can't Happy, happy dope. It's just a gas. It got me high. But don't let that fact deceive you. Any moment I could die. Though I giggle and I chortle, bear in mind I'm not immortal. Why this whole thing strikes me funny, I don't know. Cause it really is a rotten way to go. Here is an ethical dilemma Let's say who get the master or if he doesn't have a prayer True, the gun was never fired But the way I bet's respired I can finish him but symbolize a fair What we have here is a tricky moral problem Do I help him get the master or don't go back 
fair Couldn't treat him when I tried But the fates are on my side I can off the guy by staying in the chair Don't be fooled if I should chuckle Like hyenas in a zoo It's just a guess <laughs> It turns me on But don't let my mirth deceive you Any moment I'll be gone signs are failing cause the oxide I'm inhaling makes it difficult as hell to catch my breath are you dumb or hard of hearing or relieved my end is nearing are you satisfied I've left myself <laughs> Dead. So it's the end of Act One, and a lot of things have changed. Business is booming in Mushnik and Son's flower shop. Well, because of the plant. Do you want to show them? Let's show them, let's show them. What the hell are you doing in there? Get the hell out! At one point, we had to work here. Wait, when was this? You were sleeping, Ronette. Hey, you know what I do remember, though? Being when I do snuggle enough together. Ooh. It was so hilarious. He was wearing a leather jacket to impress her. Speaking of leather jackets, is she still down in the dumps over that guy, Oren? Down the dumps? She was over the moon. Wasn't she guilty, though? For thinking she killed him. No way, she shouldn't have felt that way. She deserves a nice guy, someone who respects her. See more. What a day, what a day. Seymour, do you mind mucking up for me? I'm all in. Uh, one minute, Audrey. I wanted to show you something. Can't wait till tomorrow? It won't take a minute. I've been shopping for my new wardrobe, like you told me to, and... Ta-da! What do you think? No. You don't like it? I... I don't know. I... I'll take it off. I'll take it back. I'll burn it. Just don't cry. Please. Oh, look what I did. I only ever bought it to impress you. That's... That's all I ever meant to do. I... I don't know what's come over me. I guess I've been... a little under the weather lately. It's Orin, isn't it? You've been down in the dumps ever since his mysterious disappearance. You miss him, don't you? Miss him? I never felt so relieved as when they told me he'd vanished. It was like a miracle. Not to mention all the money I saved on Epsom salts and Nace bandages. Then what's the matter? I feel guilty, I guess. I don't know. If he met with foul play or some terrible accident of some kind, then it's partly my fault, you see, because secretly, I wished it. Audrey, you'd have to waste one more minute worrying about that creep. I know a lot of guys who would give anything to go out with you. Nice guys. I don't deserve a nice guy, Seymour. That's not true. You don't know the half of it. I've led a terrible life. Uh, Audrey, don't. I deserved a creep like Oris Gravello. DDS. You know where I met him? In the gutter. The gutter? It's a nightclub. I worked there on my nights off when we weren't making much money. I put on cheap and tasteless outfits. Not nice ones, like this. Low, nasty apparel and I- Audrey, that's all behind you now. You've nothing to be ashamed of. You're a, a very nice person and I always knew you were. Underneath the bruises and the handcuffs, Lift up your head, wash off your mascara Here, take my Kleenex, wipe that lipstick away COVID Show me your face, 
face Clean as the morning I know things were bad Now they're okay Suddenly Seymour Is standing beside you You don't need no makeup Don't have to pretend to provide you with sweet understanding Seymour's your friend Nobody else treated me kindly Daddy left early Mama was poor I'd meet a man and I'd follow him blindly He'd snap his fingers Me, I'd say shut The bad times are clean washed away Please understand that it's still strange and frightening For losers like I've been It's so hard to say Suddenly say more Suddenly say more He purified me He purified you His name in lights, his face on screen. He might have been all that, but he made a deal with the devil, and he knew it. Not everyone can handle fame like us. Mm -mm -mm. So, Gallagher kicked us out for some reason. And, um, run out get off your phone. Now my fault I'm popular. Um, okay. Anyways, so back to the plants. He can talk now. He got a big appetite. And blood ain't good enough no more. He needed bodies. And Audrey's gonna find out soon enough. Are we at the Audrey part now? Yes, we are. Aw, I love that part. I know you do. Audrey snuck over the shop, saw the plant talking, realized it was way too late to get out, and she got eaten. She died on the spot? No! Then Seymour came. But it was way too late. He held her in his arms, while she told him to feed her to the plants. Oh, so romantic, but why feed it to the plant? Have you not been listening? To make it grow, of course. This is a weird ass ending. I know it is.
Gavila Safehain, a Orla Salam Dum, Agis Vias Portox, a show of Visha, Savlian Gavila is a Karajerk, Ismas Queen Lumber Portox, a show Shin, Agis Kagraf Shay Duslanok, Dungaler, Gachor, the Hurla Kela, Bay on show Book Fiend Sam Hailer, Scully Glosh, the Column, and to Austin Downer McCluster, Irig live in Lena, Little Shop of Horrors, the Hurla Kela, in a known Covid, Agis Na Kunstaki Galer, Honig, Savlakerv, um, Ismorn Trua, Nakrev, Deshagwiv, 
um shasta blakeer and start just a whole toil and ach tasul gum garbunch of tana vasan grakagasun gadra vijenta kayla um and i know it might feel like getting up on stage and performing in front of everyone is what it's all about but it's actually the friends that you make the laughs you have and the occasional breakdowns along the way that really do make the experience so special so um tom sherald today can i roig live fishon and scott kayla kayla um a vet mark with dire hilly and tennis scholar rowing mark well done do you eat it's Michelle Donald Sullivan, Dan Elliott Bader, my small of Macula Clushant. Gavi is a hand egg, the sweet charity I am ever going, August Fame Mar and Pre of Buco Oscar. Um, look, I know it's a complete kick in the teeth not getting to do the show that you hadn't envisaged yourselves doing. I'm a musician, I've been unemployed for a year, so I feel your pain. But from everything Belinda's told me, Little Shop of Horrors is going to be spectacular and will absolutely take its place in the lineage of great Glass Column shows. Um, I loved that show. I loved Sweet Charity. I loved performing it. I loved singing on stage. But the most crack that we had, and I guarantee you, if you ask any cast member from any year, they will tell you, the most crack that we had was putting the show together, was rehearsing, was auditioning and realizing that guy can sing and she can dance and I didn't know any of my friends could do any of this stuff and you all still get to have that. So enjoy it and cherish it and be very, very proud of the production you're putting together in incredibly difficult circumstances. The show must go on. Can I relive and I look forward very much to seeing what you put together. Congratulations to the cast and crew of Little Shop of Horrors in Colostia, Great Colostia Cullum. Well done. I've heard that you've had to adapt to your show. So well done on your creativity and your perseverance and in keeping up with the musical tradition of the school. So well done on that front. I remember years ago I did the Hot Mikado, which is a long, long time ago. And I know the dedication and the amazing team of teachers that you have behind you. So enjoy it all. Enjoy the experience. And I'm sure it's not the end we've heard of the TY class of 20. 2021. So well done, Mashiv August Slon, Bhutanabas. Hi, TYs 2021. Um, my name is Ashling, and I was in the Hot Mikado 13 years ago now, which feels like yesterday, but it was a very long time ago, I'm sure, in your eyes. Just wanted to say congratulations on all the hard work that's gone into Little Shop of Horrors this year. I know that you've been doing amazing work. Um, I've seen firsthand because of a sibling of mine that's in the show, uh, how much hard work has gone into it, despite the fact that you can't do it live. You're keeping on an amazing legacy of shows over the years in Clash Column, and you should be so, so proud of what you've achieved. Um, best of luck with the premiere. And um, I'm sure everybody in your school, in Ballincollig, in Cork, and maybe further field are looking forward to watching it. Thanks very much. The Eve is Michelle Callahan, August Lock my parts a whole drama flash dance, a govy list of three dead. Taking part in flash dance was by far and away my most memorable experience from transitioning to Lost to And you were all so lucky that you all got to experience putting on your own transition year musical this year, which is something I don't think any school in the entire country has been able to do so well this year. You still even got to experience all the best parts, like all the laughs and rehearsals, the getting out of class, the making new friends in the year, and of course, working with such a talented team, which in my day also consisted of Miss Hutchinson, Sarah Moriarty and Ronan Houlihan. Your work over the past year has just been absolutely phenomenal and your hard work and dedication will stand to you for the rest of your lives. I have no doubt that Little Shop of Horrors will go down in history as the most memorable musical Colossal Cullum has ever put on and there is so much credit due to you all. So Bwinagi Thanov, Osvor Gupla Tofokas and Interflian, August Tomic Tanu Gamor Leshen Vishon. Snan. Hi guys. Um as some of you know, I am a past pupil of the Great Klosha. And back in 2005, which I know some of you were, were born in around that year, um, I was part of Figure on the Roof. Um, and since then, I have not left. So I've done 15 shows with them, um, Miss Hutchinson, since then. And the buzz of TY is just amazing, which is why I keep coming back to do it. But I know this wasn't the year that you were expecting. Um, before Christmas, you probably thought, God, we're not going to get a show and all that. But you did. 
and you definitely still got the same buzz that every other year has gotten. Honestly, you have. And when you get to watch the DVD and all that, you'll, um, it'll all be worth it. You also got an opportunity that no one else has ever gotten. Um, the uh, recording vocals and the filming and all that. So I'm so glad that I could be part of it. Um, and I love you loads. And I'm very, very proud of you. Um, yeah, you're a talented bunch. Well done, guys. Hi guys, Grainne Cholanta, your scholar on Gwe In 2015, I played Morticia Adams in the Cholanta Gwe Cholanta Holland production of The Adams Family. I've heard brilliant things about Little Shop of Horrors. I've heard that you're a really hardworking and talented bunch. And I know it's a pity that you won't get to perform the show in the way that you would have liked. But I just want to commend you hugely on all the hard work that you've put in. And I hope that you had a blast working on the show during the year regardless. I absolutely can't wait to see what you've done with it, guys. So wholeheartedly, it's a massive. Hi, guys. Alana Nicolan show. I glock my port is sister acts of lean gobulus a shock jug and show a clash to gray clash to column marol dolores um, I've heard that you're doing absolutely amazing things with Little Shop of Horrors this year and that the talent is just oozing out of every single one of you. So, co gorgeous all for uh, live. Um, it's so great that you're doing filmed scenes as well to really, really bring the show to life on screen. And it's just so incredible. And you've risen to such a challenge putting on such an amazing show in the middle of a pandemic. So, well, well done for that. And it'll definitely go down in the history books of Colosh de Great Colosh de Column. So you should be so, so proud of yourselves. Um, August just co gordigus ulvor live a reach. August keeg my shiv air on scalon more. Slan! Hello everyone, Brian Murray here from West Side Story in 2012, where I played the part of Tony. Um, I wanted to wish you all an amazing show of Little Shop of Horrors. I've been hearing all about it and I cannot wait to watch and see every single one of you shining. Um, it's such an amazing experience that you're not going to miss a TY musical. I was worried for a while that I thought you weren't going to do it, but I'm so glad that everyone has pulled together and to make this happen for you guys. It's going to be epic, iconic, and you'll always have this professional recording of you forever and ever. And in years to come, you look back and you'll see the quality. I only have terrible little um, video phone recordings of mine and I wish I had something as good as what you guys will have. So best of luck with it. And I hope to see you all before the year is out and really proud of you all. Hello, this is Marie Eve Galair. My name is Marin. Um, I was part of the TY group of 2010, which feels like 100 years ago. It actually feels like yesterday, but it is 100 years ago which is crazy. Um, <laughs> I played Tracy Turnblad uh, when we did Hairspray um, in our TY. Um, but Miss Hutchinson has told me of the incredible job that you guys are doing of keeping creative and keeping motivated in a year that is just trying to just pull things to a halt. Um, I know you've been working on The Little Shop of Horrors um, since September. And while I know there probably is a little bit of a disappointment that you may not get to have that kind of final show, um, I just wanted you all to like rest assured that you're going to be so thankful to come away from a year like this with a physical recording um, of something, even moving forward, just to have that will just be so precious and valuable. And in my experience of be it like shows or or filming stuff it's the creative process is what really makes an experience so the friends you'll have made um the things you'll have learned in doing it and just being able to be creative with with your friends and with your teachers is something like genuinely when i look back on that it's it's the days when you're rehearsing until nine o'clock at night or or you're exhausted someday and something funny happens like they're the they're the times you're going to remember but um I absolutely cannot wait to see Little Shop of Horrors. Um, Ms. Hutchinson has been telling me that you've all been doing an incredible job and I have absolutely no doubt that that is the case. Um, I just want to, to congratulate you all for bridging the gap um, in a year that could have left a hole in the kind of creative legacy of Colossus Cullum and you guys have just risen to the challenge. And if anything, you've just created a legacy of your own and just been incredibly like unique and um 
just adaptable and I think that's such a, a testament to you and that's what you remember as well I think um especially I'm working in the arts industry myself and to see an industry that is suffering so badly um yet to have you guys just capitalize and just keep going and just absolutely smash it is so so incredible to see and and it really just warms my heart because I look back on my TY with such fond memories and I would want nothing more than for you guys to do the same and I think you genuinely genuinely will um but yeah I just wanted to wish you all the luck and to all the moon Tory, you're all absolutely incredible um I can't imagine the obstacles you faced during the year and to just rise and stay positive and just say we're going to get this done is just incredible so Gnairin Thalib Galair, um, I can't wait to see it and take care, bye!